this is Gyro Gear Loose with RV Hacking on the Cheap, and today I'm going to go against my usual advice by installing this simple 12 volt voltmeter. It also includes USB ports for convenient charging. Toward the end of this video, I'll demonstrate why I don't usually advise a 12 volt voltmeter for monitoring the state of charge of your batteries. Load throws them wildly off, making them almost useless. However, for totally useless, you'd have to use the one that's mounted on the trailer already. The four lights correspond to already charging, now you're unplugged, soon you're going to run out of power, and stranded completely. You can remember this acronym by CUS. Seems strangely appropriate. Here on the bench we can see that the voltmeter appears to be fairly accurate, and at rest it's drawing 17 milliamps. That is with nothing plugged into the USB. Now just for fun I'll load test, putting 1 amps, 2 amps, and 3 amps on the USB port. Here's one amp with no voltage drop. Two amps with no voltage drop. And a full three amps still with no voltage drop. As you can see, I'm now drawing 1.6 amps off the 12 volt in order to provide that. Before continuing, I unplug the trailer and disconnect the battery to make sure there is no 12 volt supply going through this panel while I work. This is just in case I brush wires accidentally so I won't short anything out. To begin the installation, I'm going to open the existing power panel so I can tap into its 12 volt lead since I'm putting the meter nearby. Here I've tapped into the white wire and the red wire, which are the first two pins going into the existing factory meter. To avoid shaking apart when rattling down the road, I soldered the wires onto each lead and then wrapped it securely in plenty of electrical tape. I clipped the original panel back in place and cut a hole for the new meter right next door. To provide plenty of length, I used extension wires to reach the new panel location. Here you can see the red and neutral wires soldered in the prior step coming out of the hole. I'll briefly restore power just to check that my polarity is correct before continuing to wire. I'm going to switch to heat shrink for this joint, so I preloaded it onto two of the wires. And then I proceed to solder, red to red, black to black, where red is positive and black is ground or negative. With the joint soldered, I now slide my heat sink back up over the joint to cover it. With the heat shrink in place, I'll gently warm it to make it shrink. Here's the heat shrink all tightened up. I restored power, and here's the meter fully installed. The video makes it look like it's flickering. It is perfectly steady. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned I'm not a fan of direct voltmeters. Now I'll demonstrate why. Check out what happens when I operate anything that's 12 volt in the trailer. Under load, the voltage greatly drops. Therefore, a voltmeter is only valid for checking anything when there's absolutely nothing on in the trailer, which is rarely the case. This has been Gyro Gear Loose with RV Hacking on the Cheap. If this video has been useful to you, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Or check out my Patreon channel where I answer questions. Thank you.